Charlemagne, Charlemagne, I'm gonna say his whole name. Charlemagne <laughs> um, was uh, this is an older clip, yeah. But I think it reveals a little bit about his heart that I don't know. I don't know if it's changed. It, we could leave. Maybe you know he's been talking a lot about God more recently than yeah. he used to. But it, it's just an insight into what I believe a lot of people think, and I want you guys to so, let me know what you think. I just grew. To realize over the years that you know GOD to me is an acronym that means gain your own definition. I mean, if you look at all these different religions, everybody <coughs> believes in these different variations of God. It, I don't think it's you know eight or nine different gods somewhere. I believe like it's one Creator. Okay. And, you know I don't knock nobody for their religion, but I I, I just don't claim any particular denomination. I, I don't I, I think you know you get into the, those habits and those practices of religion, and I think sometimes the religion it's bigger than your actual belief. You know what I mean? You start believing more in the church, believing more. You start believing the church more. You start believing the pastor more. When you should just be giving all that belief and that faith to God. Like I was, it's funny because I was arguing with my own girl the other day and she said to me that Jesus is God. I was like, Jesus is God? Jesus is God's son, one of God's disciples. She was like, no, Jesus is God is the same person and I can show you. And I was like, I ain't even had a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because it's funny to me, I mean, not, not to dwell on this topic, but it's funny to me how people give so much to Jesus, but not enough to God. It's like, yo, I, I love Jesus. You know, praise Jesus, but God is the Father. That's like walking in somebody's house and praising the, the, the Son, but not showing no respect to the Father, you know what I mean? Ooh, okay, again, this was a long, long time ago. <laughs> so who knows what God has done with his heart since then. I'm not seeing a, hunt, a, a ton of evidence that anything has changed. But um, I think a lot of people think what he thinks. Mm -hmm. And yeah. a lot of people in our space think what he thinks. Yeah. That mm -hmm. I was very shocked to find out. Mm -hmm. There's a very big misunderstanding of who Jesus is. A lot of people just see Jesus as a good dude. You know, a guy that, you know, God made him, but he's just a good dude. He, he did his best and he, you know, changed a lot of people's hearts. It's like, that is not at all what the Bible said Jesus was. <laughs> you totally missed the story if you think Jesus was a, a good disciple or a good mm, teacher. Yeah. That's what, that's what um, non-Christians believe about yeah, Jesus. That's yeah. not what Christians yeah, believe about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, no, no, no. Jesus created you. Mm -hmm. He was there from the beginning. Mm -hmm. The Father, the Son, Holy Spirit always existed before time, before the earth, before the universe. And and I think people don't understand who Jesus is when we talk about him. And I, I'm just shocked to say there's a lot of people in Christian hip hop. And again, I'm not saying because some people's ideas may have changed. I've heard, hmm. but I've been hearing it way too much. There's this influx of people that are coming in saying, Oh, Jesus, 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 but Jesus is just this. Yeah. It's like a Jehovah's Witness version yeah. of Jesus versus yeah. the, yeah. The, the, the true version of Jesus. And, and the people who don't believe Jesus is God, like there's literal warnings in the Bible. If, if you don't believe Jesus is fully God, you're, you're not of God. If you don't believe <laughs> Jesus is fully man, yeah. then you have another problem because yeah. then you think everything he did was just supernatural. It wasn't a big deal. Mm -hmm. It says he's fully God and fully man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't become God. He always was God. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and I, if you don't have, that's like basic stuff. Like if you don't have that, everything else you've built upon that weak foundation, it's going to fall. It's going to fall on you. Yeah. You have to get that part right. That is, that is, that is like 101 basic stuff. And if, people like Charlemagne, who is, we want to call a Christian. I don't know if he would even call himself a Christian. Spiritual problem. That's what they think about our faith. And they got it. We're not, preaching right mm -hmm. we're not witnessing right if yeah. that's what they think we believe jesus is if they need a biblical reference for what you just said you can go to genesis chapter 1 verse 26 mm -hmm. and it says and god said let us mm -hmm. make man in our image after our likeness if god <laughs> god said let us so who was us at that point mm -hmm. like like sean said the father the son the spirit have always existed like everything was created through christ like mm -hmm. He is God. You want to find another reference. You look in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. 
when it says a son will be born, a child is given, and his name will be Wonderful Counselor. It also mm-hmm. says his name will be Everlasting Father. Mm-hmm. So if the child is born and he's the Wonderful Counselor, but he's also going to be called Everlasting Father, mm-hmm. who else is called Everlasting Father? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You also see in Colossians where it says Jesus was a representation of the Godhead bodily. Who is the Godhead? That's the mm-hmm. Father, Son, and the Spirit. So what we have is a bunch of people either reading the Scriptures and interpreting it incorrectly, or you're not reading the Scriptures at all, and you're forming your own opinion based mm-hmm. off of what you see outside of that. But God Jesus, the Holy Spirit, formed the Godhead, the Trinity. Many people try to explain it like the egg and all this kind of stuff. But I feel like this. If I could fully explain God, I wouldn't worship him. So (laughs) there's certain aspects of God that I cannot explain. And it should be that way because I'm not going to worship Sean. He's not going to worship me because we can understand each other. Mm -hmm. But it's a certain reverence, a certain hierarchy that God has that we can't fully explain. Mm -hmm. But these scriptures tell us that it says, God said, let us. Mm -hmm. So he didn't say, let me. He said, let us. Mm-hmm. So that means us means multiple. Mm-hmm. So you're dealing with one God and three entities, which forms the Godhead or the Trinity, as we believe. So that's mm-hmm. when that's when they say when Jesus is God, that's what they're talking about. And as you go down this rabbit hole, you got to be careful because there's there's secular answers to all these things. Right. Mm-hmm. So I, I, you have to be ready to go down this rabbit hole. because. But I think it's foundational. If you are confused about this, it's worth the journey to yeah. figure this out because it is very serious. Jesus even dealt with this. Like when he was talking about David said, the the Lord said to my Lord, he's talking about, David was talking about his descendants who was going to be the savior. Yeah. He called him Lord. Yeah. You don't do that. You don't do that for somebody who's just the son of somebody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He knew, David knew that the person coming was his Lord, the one mm-hmm. who made him. Mm-hmm. Th- I mean, this is foundational stuff. Somebody mm-hmm. said he grew up Jehovah Witness. Oh, yeah, yeah he, he said that. He said that. And that's where I think oh, that comes yeah. from. Yeah, struggle with the Trinity. Well, I think the thing about the, like, when, he, like, going into the Psalms, the Psalms talk about that, that the Lord is God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then when you go to the New Testament, it talks about Jesus being Lord. So if Jesus is Lord, and then you go back into the, like, mm-hmm. like I said this a couple of weeks ago, the whole Bible is about Jesus. Yeah. It's yeah. about the Lord. Like, so yeah, it's like, yeah. so like when you, when we, when we say those things, I'm just baffled that people, um, at, at, or in a space that is a Christian space that don't believe that. That's just so it's new to shocking. me. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's very shocking. shocking to me. So I just think at, at the end of the day, um, like, yeah, man, it's just like, I, just, I don't know how, you know, how would you, how is your salvation if you don't believe Jesus is God? Like, I, 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 ask, I ask questions when I have those type of conversations. Yeah. I ask questions like, like he made the statement that uh, Jesus, that's not God. Okay, where did that come from? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. is it just coming from your own mind? Mm-hmm. So you know, and that that's when you start going down that rabbit hole. Um, because if if I come to you and say Jesus is God, as a Christian, okay, I better be able to back that up and show mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, but also I think that you know it has to be revealed to you to yeah. you that yeah. Jesus yeah. is God. Mm-hmm. So right. in Charlemagne, mm-hmm. Jesus ain't God, but you are. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Got wait, 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 he come. I know he, what he means, yeah, but I mean, yeah. like, come on. Well, he got, but he also, that's why I say he's spiritual because he go yeah. from, he could, he could talk about that, but then he, he did, um, Muhammad, not Muhammad Ali, um, the message to the black man is God, 5% nation stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's a mix. It's, yeah, it's, it's all a mix. But this is the thing, though, that this is where the Bible says lean out onto your own understanding because yeah. when you operate from a worldview of how you view Jesus, and you don't stay in line with what scripture says, you could find yourself having a worldview that contradicts the, what the Bible actually says. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My brother right here just gave a, a few references as, as far as the Trinity and, and, and Jesus being God. Jesus said it himself in, in John 10 30, he said, me and the father are one. Mm-hmm. And so he's not just God's son and just some good dude. No, he is God the son as well. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And so and like my brother Ike over there said, hey, you gotta, you gotta be able to, to let that be revealed to you and all that, but also have a word in a season and out of season. And so mm-hmm. you got to be ready to defend that faith and defend that word. But you can't defend it from a worldview if you're far away from Jesus. James mm-hmm. said, draw near to God yeah. and he'll draw near to you. So the closer you get to God, the closer you'll be in line with God. And when you get that answer, you'll be on point. 